listen, I don't know who this is for, but sometimes you got to switch up your environment. You got to see more in order to be more and let all the old things go. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. I can do your hair and all that. I can cook for you. I'm already motherly. Since you can do all that, why your baby fatherly? What's the weirdest thing you've ever done to make money? So my cat. <laughs> what kind of cat? This cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. Listen, don't project your intimidation of me off to others. Y'all know how many times that I have vibed with somebody one-on-one -on -one and they be like, man, you cool for real. All because somebody else was intimidated by me. My presence, who I am, what I got going for myself. Uh-huh. See, now that's what I'm talking about, Shabam Boo. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, yeah, niggas trying to hide the good shit. <laughs> Baby, you want to dance? <laughs> yes, I do. But not with you. <laughs> harass, 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 harass. The thing that grinds my gears more than anything is having to repeat myself to adults. That's worse than me having to yell and repeat myself to my kids to me. Because it's just like at your big ass age, you still don't know how to listen. Like you still don't know how to comprehend what somebody is saying to you. You're deliberately trying to piss me off at this point. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. Why is it when men leave their family because they say they're no longer happy with their wives, they're vilified. They're spawn of Satan. They're the worst scum of the earth. How dare he? Took her for her good years. But when. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts ain't my thoughts. Bitch, I'm flowing straight from the survival scroll. Cut that bitch off. A woman leaves <clears throat> because she says, you know what, I'm just not happy anymore. I woke up and I realized I just didn't feel the same anymore. She gets to leave and we say, go sis, you got to do what's best for you and your mental health and your well-being. And if it's not serving you, then you don't need it. Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? This is pimping here. I've been on Wheel of Fortune, Price is Right. Oh, bitch, it's funny. Come on with As an unmarried mother of three living in the city of Atlanta, let's go over exactly how much it costs to live. Number one, you have rent. That's approximately $2,800 a month. Oh, damn! Then you have your utilities, gas, light, water, and internet. All that totals to about $600 a month. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> Jesus! We don't give a fuck! Thanks, I have our cell phone bills. That ends up being about $250 a month. My personal car note is $800 a month. Ooh. I pay about $200 a month for insurance. I don't normally add in my other two car payments because those are work vehicles. Those pay me while I pay them. My God, who the f cares? <laughs> My children's homeschool and extracurricular activity fees end up being about three to four hundred dollars a month. Bruh. It also costs me about two hundred and fifty dollars a month to get their hair done. We spend about two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars a week for groceries. For clothing, we don't shop every month. We get things on sale and off season, so I would say probably an average about a hundred dollars a month. I use a nanny for childcare, which is about nine hundred dollars per week. Included in that cost is also housekeeping. I spend about six hundred dollars a month on hair, nails, and routine beauty treatments like massages or waxes. What? Medical insurance as a self-employed woman is about eight hundred dollars a month. I mainly work from home, so gas is about fifty dollars a week. For entertainment, we probably spend anywhere between five and a thousand dollars a month. That includes all our Netflix subscriptions, you know, all our fees to go to the Y and those types of things as well. Our dog requires about once a month grooming. That's about eighty dollars. So my total monthly expenses for personal, not including my business, is around fifty-five hundred dollars a month. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. One thing I wish I knew before I started dating in my early 20s is if you are working on your security within yourself, do not date insecure people. Hear me? I will slap you, man. I will slap the hell out of you. If you don't play with me, you don't know who you're messing with. I don't even know when I'm going to slap somebody. My reflex is just slap people. I'll be like, damn, I, why, did I, why did I do that? I don't even know when I'll be slapping people. I don't know when I'm going to slap somebody. You keep messing with me. I'm dangerous. I'm scared of myself. Dating insecure people can directly attack your self-confidence because when you date an insecure person, they're nine times out of ten going to sabotage the relationship and they're going to sabotage or at least try to sabotage your confidence. We don't give a fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! We don't give a fuck! How 
how much you try to tell that person. No, you're beautiful and I accept you for who you are. If a person does not accept themselves, they are going to sabotage that relationship with you because you accept yourself. You cold. He cold. She belongs to the streets. Four men you should not date based on their employment. Let's go. First up, military men. Baby, you gonna get cheated on on deployment and off deployment. There is a Jodisha around every corner, okay? You be all right, nigga. Tough, right? Second up, we have the gas station attendants. Baby, they gonna gas up every girl that done come up and through that gas station. Third of all, we got the barbers. And let you be a single mom. Baby, they're going to cut their way into some coochie. And last but not least, mechanics. They trying to see what's under everybody's hood. Don't say I ain't tell you now. Yeah, I just wanted to put this compilation together about Women giving uh, women dating advice these days, 2023, you know. We got uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and everything else with social media flooded with women giving women advice about men they shouldn't date, who they should date, why they shouldn't date, when they should date them, the best time to date them, uh, uh, su summer hot girls, winter falling, uh, all this spring, springing and uh spring break ready to jump on the next oh, okay anyway women are giving women a lot of dating advice about men and haven't talked to a man or been able to keep a man or even was in the presence of a man for longer than 30 minutes hour maybe that's the thing like these people haven't committed themselves to anything these days and then be still trying to give you advice about how you should hold yourself and how you should do this and do that when they haven't been dedicated to anything in their damn life. That's my whole problem. That's the whole reason I felt like I need to get on Facebook or Instagram or any of these. Because how are y'all giving advice to shit that y'all never was dedicated to nobody? Like, y'all never was dedicated to a job. Y'all never was dedicated to a house, damn there. You know what I'm saying? A location, you know? You're not dedicated to shit. But y'all want to be giving advice to people? That is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't been dedicated to a whole lot of shit throughout my time. And I know that you have to be dedicated to shit. You have to show uh loyalty and devotion to shit. You know what I'm saying? And that could be for your career, for whatever you're trying to do. You gotta be devoted, you know what I'm saying? But people haven't been devoted to shit. They wanna tell you how you should live your life, but never took time to actually devote or maintain their own damn life. You know what I'm saying? And then they're sitting here hitting you upside the head with facts that ain't even facts. Uh, hella opinion about things that they never even been through. Just heard over the grapevines, the grapevines, the grapevines. It, it is it's crazy that uh, people are listening to uh, life coaching and dating gurus and relationship gurus and fitness gurus and all these gurus that don't have no record to show. They might have uh, paid testimonies from people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. Y'all keep on uh, following these crazy gurus, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess because the women look cute and they're beautiful and they got this or that, that men and women choosing to follow them in mass doesn't even make sense. They haven't even chosen to, to be in a relationship or be married or anything like this or stay dedicated to anything their own damn personal health you know what i'm saying they don't even stay in therapy long enough to get the therapy they need so you want to tell me how they're the person you should listen to about uh relationships or life advice you people are crazy but anyway it is what it is silence is acceptance and we ain't having it like comment subscribe